y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks, and today we're making a delicious homemade broccoli casserole with fresh broccoli. It's cheesy and creamy. It's already boiling, so we're going to put these here, put the lid on it, and we're going to steam these for 10 minutes. 8 to 10 minutes. I think I'll do 8 minutes, actually. So while we're doing that, the clock says 427. I know about when I should take them off. I'm going to turn this eye on and we're going to melt a little butter and saute half of a large onion with a couple of tablespoons of chopped green pepper. I have got three cups of water and I am going to use it. Um, I'm, I actually went the other day and they didn't have my nor square bouillon so I bought this type you just add a teaspoon in per cup go ahead and put this in here start sauteing that a little bit while we're making our broth Make sure you run hot water in this. Especially if you're going to use a tablet. This will melt a lot easier than using the square bouillon. It's the same brand, the same taste. Just easier to work with. Alright, there's our cup of broth. Our three cups of broth. We're going to use three cups of broth. And we're going to add one cup of milk to this. So it's going to go up to the four cup mark. All right, our broccoli looks like it's about getting ready to steam. So the clock says 429. We're going to get that off about 420, I mean 437. So I'm just going to put in just a little tiny bit of red pepper. Just a pinch, really. And you don't have to put that ingredient in if you don't want to. This is uh, Pepperidge Farm Classic Herbs Stuffing Seasoning that's seasoned already. So this has got seasoning in it too. We're going to put about um, a cup of this or a cup and a half down in the bottom of here. Cup of that stuffing. All right, a cup of that stuffing and a cup of rice in this bowl. Tablespoons of butter. Broccoli's got two minutes left. And we're going to put in about a quarter cup of flour. And I'm going to wait just a second and see if that flour won't brown just a little bit. We're going to go ahead and turn our broccoli off and take the lid off of it. Now this next step I'm doing, if you don't want to do this part, then just use a can of cream of chicken soup. But we're kind of just making our own, okay? I'm going to add this broth. And while that's warming up, See if we can put it all in here. 
We're just going to get it nice and warm and then we're going to pour it over our rice and our stuffing. While we're waiting on that to come to a simmer, I'm going to put the lid on it, turn it down a little bit. We're going to grab the sour cream out of the refrigerator and the mayonnaise. We're going to put in a half cup of sour cream. And a half cup of mayonnaise. We're going to put in a cup of cheese. Then you're going to reserve a cup of cheese for the top of your casserole. It's boiling. Let's get it over here and pour it in our bowl. What you see floating on the top is the stuffing. I'm going to take our broccoli and put it in the bottom of the pan. Spread it out evenly. If you want to add chicken to this dish, it'll be a whole meal. Just make sure you got enough liquid in there for your rice to cook. Now all my rice went down there on one side, it looked like, didn't it? That can't happen. Be careful with that. So stir it up good. And now we're going to bake this in the oven. A good 45 minutes to an hour. I would think it'll probably take an hour because of the um, rice. Now we're going to put cheese on the top. And get it in the oven. All right, we're going to get this down here. We'll be back shortly. We're gonna dip into this and it sure smells good. So make sure you keep it in the oven long enough for the rice to get done. Looks delicious. It's hot. It looks really cheesy and really good. That is packed with flavor, y'all. I think you're really going to enjoy it. And remember, if you don't want to take the step to do the, the gravy part, just use the can of cream of chicken. But make sure you use the broth and the milk so that you'll have enough to um, cook the rice, liquid to cook the rice. You can tell it's just, it's just right. Cheesy and delicious. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Oh, casserole's always better with fresh broccoli. You need to cut the stems off really close to the head of the broccoli, and that way um, you've just got your broccoli tips and not the, the stalk. This uh, pot is actually my steamer pot, so I can wash these and cook them in the same thing. So um, you're going to cut these into smaller pieces. Make sure they're bite size, and we're just gonna cut. We're just gonna cook these until they're fork tender. We're not gonna cook them to death. So we're going to steam them. Okay. So I'm just gonna rinse them off. Whoops. And 
then we're going to place these over here. I've got the pot hot already. 